Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. Today, we're learning about using properties of real numbers. Okay, so you might know some of these properties. You've heard them before the commutative, associative, distributive property. Um, identity and inverse properties, okay? So we're gonna make a little chart here kind of showing what each one is, okay? So for these properties, all right, these properties of real numbers, the following properties hold true for real numbers A, B, and C. So hold true for real numbers A, B, and C. So our first one here, the commutative property, well, when we have it with addition, so addition here, i use orange for our chart here, okay? So with addition, A plus B equals B plus A. Meaning the commutative property states that it really doesn't matter the order when you add two real numbers. A plus B is the same thing as B plus A. All right? Now, we continue that with multiplication, okay? Same idea holds. A times B equals B times A, okay? So that's our commutative property, okay? It really does uh, commutative, it doesn't really matter the order for addition or multiplication. So for addition, the commutative property of addition, A plus B equals B plus A, and the commutative property of multiplication, A times B equals B times A. Okay? So let's keep going. Let's continue this chart down. All right? And the next one here, we have the associative property. And again, we're gonna have that with addition and multiplication. But this one's a little trickier, okay? What it says is that A plus B plus C in parentheses is the same thing as, or is equal to, right? A plus B in parentheses plus C on the outside. You can see that fit in there, okay? So that's our associative property of addition. Now we can apply that with multiplication, okay? The associated property of multiplication. Same idea, just with multiplication. A times B times C is equal to A times B times C, okay? So there we have, in a similar way, like the commutative property uh, for addition and multiplication is very similar, just using addition versus multiplication. Same thing with the associative property. Very similar idea, but from addition and multiplication. Okay, let's continue this chart on. The distributive property. Now this one, this one's actually unique here. So distributive property. And this one, I'm actually gonna erase this right here. Because this property is a mix of addition and multiplication together. So I'll write the first part in blue. A times parentheses B plus C equals, <laughs> let's be really cool, equals in orange. Okay, now multiplication in green here. Equals, the distributive property says if we have this, we would have then, it's the same thing as A times B plus a times C. And you can see how this lines up with addition and multiplication, but that's right there, that's our distributive property. We can distribute this A to both parts in inside of the parentheses there, okay? Next one, moving on down, okay? We have what's the identity property, identity property. This one's a little trickier, okay? Well, it says there exists for addition, there exists a unique real number called the identity number, zero, such that for any real number A, A plus zero equals A, okay? So that's kind of a lot to write here. We're just gonna sum it up. Basically, we have the identity property. There exists a unique real number, okay? Let me call that A plus 
zero equals a. I kind of mentioned it there. And I'll put the um, words on the side here for that kind of explaining all that in words. There exists a unique real number called the identity zero, right here, the additive identity, such that for any real number a, a plus zero equals a. It doesn't change anything when you add it. Well, if there's an identity property for addition, there must be an identity property for multiplication. Well, not mu must, but there is. Same idea. There exists a unique real number called the multi multiplicative identity, okay? And that's one, such that for any real number a, a times one equals a. So again, similar idea here, the additive identity, a plus zero, zero being the additive identity, equals a, same thing with multiplic <laughs> multiplicative identity. a times one equals a, one is that multiplicative identity. Doesn't, it basically just doesn't change anything when you do that operation. And lastly here, we have the inverse property. Now, what this one says, for, I'm sorry, every real number a has an additive inverse or opposite denoted negative a such that a plus negative a equals zero. Okay, so let's write that down. a plus a negative a equals zero, okay? So again, that's our inverse property. We have a plus a negative a equals zero. Basically, there's a real number out there that if you add its inverse, you will get zero. So you can imagine we're gonna have a multiplicative inverse property, right? So that one states, every non-zero real number a has a multiplicative inverse or reciprocal denoted one over a such that a times one over a equals one. Okay, so we have a times one over a equals one. Essentially, they're gonna cancel each other out when you multiply them to always get one for any real number a where a is not equal to zero, okay? So let's, let's see if we can um, get a quick example for each one of these. Okay, um, and let me put the multiplication example here. Uh, if you will see it with real numbers, so actually let's do addition first. So I'll do addition on this side. I have some space here where we can. So the addition, what the, or I can fit underneath here. So now that you've seen this chart, let's kind of put it in different places where we can. Well, what is it saying is seven plus three is the same thing as three plus seven. Same idea. So with multiplication, you can do it like this, seven times three is equal to three times seven. All right, now, not enough room here, but let's go toss some numbers in, okay, for this blue part here. So I'm gonna put it over here. Basically, that associative property is telling us, okay, that we can have, well, let's go three plus one plus four is equal to, and I'll fit it underneath here, three plus one plus four, and that's our associative property of addition. Multiplication, we're gonna see an example of that, is telling us here that, oh, two times seven times four is equal to two times seven times four. Same idea. Okay, now the distributive property, we can toss it, see if I can put it over here, for multiplication and addition, same thing, same examples here, just toss some numbers out here. Oh, let's go one times two plus three is the same thing as one times two plus one times three, okay? Now the identity property example there, it really can be any number you want. I could probably fit that right up above it. Okay, essentially, we'll see how easy it is. Any real number, negative 10 plus zero equals, can you guess it? 
negative 10. Okay? And then here with the multiplication uh, identity property, pick a number, uh, negative 8 times 1 equals negative 8. Again, it's for any real number here. Lastly, the inverse properties, okay? Let's say, let's kind of change it up. What if I had negative, ooh, let's, let's, let's make this a little smart here. Uh, negative 11 plus, well, if A is the real number that's negative 11, its inverse is be like a negative negative 11, which is a positive, which when we add them together is zero. And the uh, multipl multipl multiplicative inverse property here, Okay, let's make A just an easy number, 5. 5 times 1 over 5 is equal to 1. And so now we kind of covered um, all the different properties, the property of real numbers. Again, the commutative, associative, distributive, identity, and inverse properties. And that goes with addition and multiplication. If you like this video, please let me know down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com.